Yes. Now, welcome students. Today, now we start the intervals as subset of real number. In last lecture, we study about the subsets. Now, subset. Subset can also be represent in the form of an interval of real number. R means set of real number. Now consider A and B belongs to R means A and B are two real number with the condition A is less than B. Then the set of real number denoted by x such that a is strictly less than x strictly less than b is called an open interval and is denoted by small bracket ab and it this interval means all the points between A and B on the number line. On the number line or we can say all the real numbers between A and B are in, the, in this open interval AB. But A and B themselves do not belong to this interval. Means and points are not included. In on the number line, we will explain it like this. Suppose this is our number line. Because A is smaller than B, so A must be on the left hand side. And B is on the right hand side. Because A and B are not included in the interval. So at A and at B, we put up circle means these two numbers are not including and rest of all the numbers between them are included. Whether they are integers or rational or irrational because it is the set of real numbers. So all the numbers between A and B except the end points A and B are included and this is known as open interval and it always written as a small bracket. This is the proper notation. Yehi notation mein aapko bache likhna hai open interval. Now consider the second case. The interval in which the end points A and B are included. Interval means all the points between A and B where end points A and B are also included. Then that interval is known as closed interval. And it is denoted by this rectangle. Rectangular small bracket A and B. See the difference between these two notation. In open interval, we only put up the small bracket. And for the close interval, we put up this rectangular bracket like this. And on the number line, we represent this. A and B we put up dark circle. Open interval mein humne, in open interval we simply put up the circle. But in close interval because A and B are included. So they are in the dark circle. Clear? See the difference? For the open we put up only circle. And for the closed, we put up the dark circle and in open end points are excluding but in closed interval end points are included. In roster form, in roster form we write it as 
क्लोज इंटरवल ए बी इज इक्वल टू एक्स सच डैट ए इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू एक्स लेस देन और इक्वल टू बी हेयर ए एंड बी आर रियल नंबर आई मेन्शन हेयर सो वी ऑलवेज इंटरवल आर ऑलवेज फॉर द रियल नंबर नॉट फॉर अदर नंबर सिस्टम इंटीजर्स और रैशनल्स for the rational we cannot represent their subset as interval we represent only subset of real number as interval because on the number line all type of numbers are included whether they are integers rational irrational every between a and b are included so this is simple to type when end points are not included then they are open when end points are included then it is closed but some interval is there are there which are open at one end and closed at the other theek okay? hai किसी एक साइड से क्लोज होंगे और किसी अदर साइड से ओपन देन दे आर कॉल्ड सेमी क्लोज और सेमी ओपन इंटरवल सपोज इट इज क्लोज एट ए एंड ओपन एट बी बिकॉज इट इज क्लोज एट ए मीन्स ए इज इंक्लूडेड बट बी इज एक्सक्लूडिंग सो ऑन द साइड ऑफ ए वी पुट अप rectangular bracket and on the side of b we put a small bracket so in roster form it will be written as x such that a is less than or equal to x and strictly less than b because here a is included so we we'll write down less than or equal to and b is not included so we write here strict inequality and on the number line on the number line a is included so at a we put up dark circle and b is excluding so at b we put up simple circle and one more last is open at the side a but closed at the side b remember we always write smaller number on the left hand side and greater number on the right hand side in each type of interval in the beginning we write uh, take a is less than b so smaller number is on the left hand side and greater number on the right hand side so come to the fourth type when it is uh, open at a open at a means a is strictly less than x and closed at b means b is included so it is less than or equal to b a is strictly less than x less than or equal to b is an open interval from a to b including b but excluding a so on the number line because a is excluding so at a we put up circle and b is included so at that point we put up dark circle so the sum up is when end points end points are included we put up the rectangular and in roster form we put up the sign less than or equal to when end points are not included we put up the small bracket and in the roster form roster form we write strict inequality because end points are excluded clear so when it is open at one end The included side is less than or equal to, and excluding side is strictly less, and that 
their side should be small bracket. Okay. Now take some example. For example, set A is equal to X set that X belongs to R. Minus 3 is tricky less than X less than or equal to 5. So it is open at 3, minus 3 because minus 3 is tricky less than. So minus 3, open bracket on the minus 3 side and uh, less than or equal to 5. So close bracket on the side 5. Similarly, the interval minus 7, 9 can be written in the set builder form. So set builder form we write x such that x belongs to r minus 7 because it's a minus 7 side is close bracket. So minus 7 less than or equal to x strictly less than 9 because on the side of 9 it is open. Now consider example. Write the following as interval. Set builder form are given to us and we have to write down it in the interval form. So minus 2 less than x less than 4. Stick inequality is both sides. So both sides we have open interval. Minus 3 less than or equal to s. Stick less than 3. So minus 3 is closed and 3 is open open semi open interval minus 4 less than equal to x less than equal to 2 both side we have equality sign also so it is close interval minus 4 2 now next example write the following interval in set builder form now interval are given to us and we have to write down in the Set builder form. 6, 12. Open at 6. So x said that x belongs to R. 6 is tricky less than x less than or equal to 12. Because it is closed on that side 12. So here we put up equality. Minus 23, comma 5. Closed on my side of minus 23. So x said that x belongs to R minus 23 less than or equal to x strictly less than 5. Now in the last lecture I also told you about the power side come to the dead. Also the collection of all subset of a set A is called power set of A and it is denoted by, oh, but, um, um, I forget here, PA. It is denoted by PA, like this here, PA. For example, set A is equal to 1, 2, then all subsets are, remember I told you, we start with 5 and add with the set the set itself 5, 1, 2 and 1, 2. So power set. Power set means set of all these elements. Set of all these four elements. So it become a power set. Now there is a, the total number of subset of a finite set containing n elements is 2 to the power n. Now here A have 2 elements. So number of subset is 2 to the power 2 means 4. You count here 1, 2, 3, 4. Now take one more example. Suppose A is equal to A, B, C. 3 elements are there. Then number of subset is 2 to the power 3 means 8. Now next topic is universal set. When all the set under consideration are subset of a larger set, then larger set is called 
यूनिवर्सल सेट